Hey guys, I am making, well, it's so, so lovely and warm that I thought that it's the perfect time to share a delicious salad recipe with you. So I am making something from Healthy Indian Vegetarian. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's one of the first recipes from the book that I'm sharing with you. This book is out now in US, UK, and you can check out other countries, Amazons. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I love this salad because it's not the usual leafy um, kind of salad. It is um, quite filling, it's delicious, and it's great on its own, but you can also serve it with some barbecued meats, a burger, some really nice fried rice. You know, you can pair it with a lot of amazing stuff. I have got two large-ish red onions and I have thinly sliced them um, and I have got a decent size baking tray. Um, now to this I'm going to add the chickpeas. So to this you can add two um, tins of chickpeas uh, but today I remembered so I soaked them overnight and I've cooked them in the cooker, pressure cooker and I'm going to add two cups of um chickpeas to this so basically two tins of chickpeas just wash and rinse them and then add it to the onions to these chickpeas i'm going to add one tablespoon of tamarind chutney and also one tablespoon of coriander chutney goes in. Then a teaspoon of salt and then a teaspoon of oil. So you can use rapeseed oil or um, uh, olive oil. And then all you've got to do is mix it up. And I'm gonna put this straight in a hot oven at 180C for half an hour. It smells so, so amazing. Just spread it all out. Okay, I totally forgot to add the sunflower seeds to the salad. So I've taken the chickpeas out and I'm just gonna add 50 grams of seeds on top of it. That's uh, the sunflower seeds, which I forgot. Just 50 grams of it. And I'll return this to the oven. So I have got here 150 grams of natural yogurt. To this, I'm gonna add a good pinch of salt and quarter teaspoon of uh, ground cumin and just give it a good mix and here is our chickpeas ready because i used um, chickpeas cooked by me it, they were a bit wet but if you use um, tin chickpeas it won't be this wet at all so i'm just going to make one serving of this just going to plate half of it in and then i'm going to finish this with our cumin yogurt so just a good drizzle on top Oh, this is going to be so delicious. And just finishing it with a little, little pinch of chili flakes. Here it is. Of course, this is not a portion for one. I'm not going to eat all of it. Um, but um, yeah, it just smells so nice. And the best bit is you can have it warm 
at the same time you can have it cold um, with some nice barbecued meats mm. so easy and once you taste it you think you know you've spent quite a lot of time making this but you know we haven't just bunged everything together and put it in the oven those two chutneys are absolutely amazing the recipe for the chutneys is also in the book uh, but you can find it on my channel here as well mm, i really do hope you're going to enjoy this uh, this summer and also this is great in the winters as well so it's it's such a versatile recipe don't forget to subscribe see you back next week oh no no see you back tomorrow with another new recipe bye for now so good guys so so lovely